If you own a Pico Calc, you need to stop what you're doing and watch this. There's a very good chance your device is running on outdated keyboard firmware and you're missing out on some critical features and fixes that just make it so much better. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to get the latest firmware installed. It's way easier than you think and the payoff is absolutely worth it. So what actually are you missing out if you stick with the old firmware? Let's talk about the version 1.2 update. First up, the big ones. The latest update gives you the power to read the battery percentage right from your code. And it even includes a charging status flag. No more guessing how much juice is left. It also lets you read and more importantly, set the keyboard's backlight brightness programmatically. For anyone building custom apps or firmware like my project PicoWare, that's a game changer. But it's not just about cool new features it's also about making the device more stable the version 1.2 update patches some major bugs specifically there's a fix for the low battery detection that adds proper debounce logic that little tweak prevents your pico calc from getting false readings and shutting down when it shouldn't. They've also cleaned up and streamlined the code by deprecating older functions. You've got this awesome little computer in your hands, but without this update, you're leaving some of its best tricks on the table. For the tiny amount of time this takes, the benefits are just too good to ignore. All right, let's get everything ready for the update. The whole process is super straightforward and you only need a couple of things. First, your Pico Calc, obviously. If you need help opening the back of the case carefully, I have a tutorial video for that right here on my channel. Secondly, a standard USB-C cable that can handle data transfer, not just a charging cable. Third, you need a piece of free software called STM32 Cube Programmer. This is the official tool from ST Microelectronics, the company that makes the chip we're about to flash. I'll have a link to their official download page down in the description. And finally, you need the firmware file itself, which is PicoCalc BIOS version 1.2. I'll also link to the official Clockwork Pi GitHub where you can always find the latest version. If you got all that, awesome. Let's get to the fun part. This is where the magic happens, so feel free to pause and follow along. A huge thanks to the user Blixton on the Clockwork Pi forums for documenting this process. It took me a while to find this, which is the main reason for this video. First, with your PicoCalc powered off, unscrew the screws and carefully pop the back off the case, just like I explained in the tutorial video. Secondly, you're looking for a tiny dip switch on the main board labeled SW107. It's just below the SD card slot. Now, using a small tool or your fingernail, flip the very first switch, switch number one, to the on position. This puts the keyboard controller into a special mode to receive the new firmware. Third, connect your PicoCalc to your computer with the USB-C cable. Fourth, press and hold the power button to turn your PicoCalc on. Fifth, launch the STM32 Cube programmer you downloaded earlier. Sixth, and this is the most important step, look at the top right window for a light blue drop down menu and make sure you select UART as the connection type. Seventh, change the port to USB serial if not already. And then click the connect button. If everything is correct, the software will connect to the device. Eighth, click the open file tab and navigate to and select the PicoCalc BIOS 
version 1.2 bin that you downloaded from GitHub. Ninth and the final step, hit the blue download button. This will start the flashing process, which only takes a few moments. Once it says the download is complete, you're all set. And now for the best part, hit OK, click disconnect and power off the Pico calc. Now unplug the USB-C cable. And this is crucial. Flip that little number one switch on SW107 back to the original off position. Now put the case back together and power your device on. And there you have it. In just a few simple steps, you've given your PicoCalc a pretty significant upgrade. You've unlocked new hardware controls like programmatic backlighting and patched annoying bugs, making sure your gadget runs better than ever. If this guide helped you out, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button for more tutorials and deep dives into cool hardware like this. Now I've got a question for you. Are you more excited about the new battery percentage feature or the backlight control? Let me know what you plan to do with it down in the comments. All the links for the software and firmware are in the description. I'm Jay Blanked. Until next time, peace.